Hi guys, welcome back. I am losing my voice, so please bear with me as it goes in and out. In this video, I am going to go over how to set up events and games in Sports Engine. This right here is what your Sports Engine looks like when you first log on. Um, well, actually, it goes to different teams, and then when you click onto each individual team, it will go into this. If you want to, if you're filtering back and forth between your different ones, you can kind of see where they're all at here. I sometimes, these are my current teams, and this is what will pop up when you first go on to there. And so if I want to go into a team, I'm going to view team, and it will take me to that particular team's page. And from here, this is where I'm going to schedule different events. Now, we have went through and added the practices that we had on the books prior to the season starting. However, when tournaments send out their schedules, it's the manager's job to update the schedules in Sports Engine with those. And this is what I'm going to teach you how to do today. So let me just show you it. For instance, Border of the Battle, I go to their website, and this is how I find my schedule. Some of them will email you the schedules, but some of them you'll have to actually go find the website. And if you have a problem locating the website, email me and I will tell you which website goes with which tournament bracket. So the 2009 schedule is right here, and that is going to be the one that I would be looking at. And so right here, it shows me where Lakes Elite would be. And so it's going to show me that our first game is Friday, um, April 22nd at 4.30, and we're going to be playing Top Dog. So the way that I would put that in, and actually I'm going to need to go to the 2009 one. The way that I would put this in is if it's a practice or a scrimmage, I would push new event or training. If it's a game, I'm going to go new game. And then the way that I do this is, is that you're going to type in your opponent. Now, if you've never had this opponent, it's going to be a new team. But for me, I've got lots of them in here that I've put in over the years. And so I can just start writing like the one, which is top dog, and then it's going to give it to me right there. But if it's one that you haven't done, then you would instead say new team, and then you would write that new team's information, and then it will save it. And then you're always going to be the home team. But even though you might not be in the in the um, the tournament, that's how you're going to put it. Then you're going to put the date, which ours was the 22nd, and then you're going to put when it starts, which if I remember, ours was at 4.30. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to put 4.30 p.m., and then the duration is going to be one hour, okay, and that's central time. And then I always put the location because most of these tournaments have multiple buildings. So on the location, I always look, and it looks like it's at St. Croix Rec, and it's at the TCO North. So for me, I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to put St. Croix, and then there it is right there. And then I might put the TCO North as my facility detail. And um, if your coach wants you there 45 minutes early, you're going to put 45 minutes. And then if you know which uniform, uh, if you're home or away, otherwise just put to be to be determined. And then I would put in here, bring both jerseys as well as any other information you have. Then you push add game down here. I'm not going to because I've already got it in there. And then as you see, it comes up and there's all the game details. And you'll be able to do who's coming by your RSVPs and so forth. And that is how you add a game or an event to your sports engine.